In this week's episode, big news for big cats, a sanctuary for rescued elephants in Brazil, giant fish make a comeback, and a leopard gets a rude awakening. Starting off in Brazil, where the first elephant sanctuary in Latin America has just opened. The 2,800-acre sanctuary is a safe haven for elephants rescued from captivity and recently welcomed its first two members. The sprawling property was purchased by an NGO and could eventually house as many as 50 elephants. Off to the U.S. with a major win for lions. The country has announced a ban on the import of trophies taken from South Africa's captive lion population. Every year, thousands of hunters pay handsomely to kill these big cats within the confines of walls and fences, a practice known as canned lion hunting. The captive creatures serve no conservation purpose as they cannot be released into the wild, and it's hoped the ban may curb the cruel practice. Tragic news from the DRC where a ranger has died protecting rare gorillas in the Cahuzzi Biega National Park. This is the second ranger to be killed in the park in the last six months. The Grower's Gorilla is the largest ape in the world and is being pushed to the brink of extinction. Conservationists say the dwindling population is largely due to civil unrest and illegal hunting. And Zsa, Zsa the world's oldest giant panda, has been humanely euthanized at her home in Hong Kong's Ocean Park. At 38, the elderly panda was well over the life expectancy of the species, and when her health took a turn for the worst, veterinarian staff made the difficult decision to put her to sleep. From land to the deep sea where footage of a blobfish and a brood of tiny pink eggs may have you second-guessing your opinions on these bizarre-looking creatures. The underwater oddities were spotted by the EV Nautilus and show a face quite different to the out-of-water one we're used to seeing. Staying with fish, a community-led project along a remote Amazon river is bringing back the Arapaima. At over 10 feet in length, the Arapaima is the largest scaled freshwater fish in the world, but overfishing has decimated populations of these enormous creatures. Scientists say that Arapaima numbers recovered when local communities controlled subsistence fishing and conservation efforts. Off to Australia's Gold Coast, where a baby humpback whale got its tail tangled up in a shark net. Fortunately, the youngster's mom was able to keep it afloat so it could breathe while rescuers worked to free her. The net was deployed against advisement due to a recent shark attack. Many are opposed to the use of netting as it continues to be a threat to other marine life. On to the UK's Bristol Zoo where a lowland gorilla just met her troop for the first time since she was born eight months ago. The gorilla, named Afia, was born by emergency cesarean section in February. Her mother, Kara, suffered complications during the birth and wasn't well enough to care for her, so the decision was made to hand rear her instead. Rounding off with this incredible big cat encounter. A sleeping leopard got quite a surprise when a male lion decided to pounce on his sleepy prey. Talk about a rude awakening. That's it for this week. We want to hear your opinions on these nature news stories. So tell us what you think in the comments below.